that's third John. So it's not gonna take me long. All right, do five, it. five or six minutes. You're on whenever you're ready. Welcome, Grace Church Draw Through Class. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing great today. Um, hope everybody's doing uh, well at home. And uh, we're going to be studying uh, Third John today. So we've had First, Second, and Third John, and then on to Revelation after this and that. And then we'll have covered the entire Bible, Genesis to Revelation, in two years. And you guys have done an absolutely amazing job in all of your drawings and uh, all the input that you have had and just an absolute wonderful job. This will be something you can tell your friends and um, all your family that you went through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation in two years and you made a drawing for every book of the Bible. So it's just wonderful. Um, we, uh, we, want you to, we want you to know that we're lifting you all in prayer. And we think about you all the time. We love you guys, and we are praying for you. So uh, know that uh, we're lifting our voices to the very throne room of God in prayer for all of you. Um, also, uh, we want to uh, say thank you to our producer director, the man behind the scenes, Pastor Nate. He does all of this. He audio, visual, transfers it to the computer, posts it. And he just does an absolute wonderful job. We've got, um, we've got uh, some really talented people here at Grace Church, and he is absolutely one of them. He's one of our pastors and um, uh, works uh, behind the scenes getting a lot of things done here. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but he's also in charge of our missionaries. That's uh, one of the things that Pastor Nate does. He's in charge of our, our missionaries that go out into the world from here. So we want to thank him uh, for all uh, that he does. Uh, and as we always do, we want to open up uh, this time in, um, in prayer. So let's go before the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this time that you've given us to be together. Uh, we thank you for all the things you have done for us. We thank you for your plan of salvation. We thank you for you, your Son, Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit. Uh, we thank you for saving us, Lord, though, so that uh, we could live in eternal life and eternal victory with you in heaven. For that, we thank you. Lord, we lift all those who are not feeling well. We ask that you put your healing hand on them. And uh, we ask that you open our hearts and our minds to receive your word today. And in Jesus' most precious holy name, all God's children said, Amen. All right, by the way. You guys have a birthday coming up, if you had a birthday in the last couple of weeks or the next couple of weeks, or you have anything at all you want to share that's going on in your lives, just email us here and we'll give you a shout out. Uh, we've had some emails come in before and we've uh, 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 read them and uh, just absolutely enjoyed that. So if you've got anything going on uh, that you want to let us know about, go ahead and email us and we'll give you a shout out. All right. Well, let's jump right into 3 John uh, and... Uh, uh, as in this one, uh, John writes uh, to another friend, uh, and his friend's name is Gaius, and uh, he may have actually been, uh, Gaius may have actually have been Paul's traveling companion uh, years before, uh, as we read in the book of Acts, and uh, John is delighted with many good reports about Gaius and is impressed uh, to pray for his health and prosperity. So uh, now, draw this character here in the center, holding this briefcase right here, and write good news. So draw this character here, holding this briefcase, and write good news right there. And uh, in uh, first or third John, uh, beginning at verse five, he writes, John writes to us, Dear friend, you are faithful in what you are doing for the brothers and sisters, even though they are strangers to you. You have told the church about your love. Or they have, excuse me, they have told the church about your love. Please send them on their way in a manner that honors God. It was for the sake of the name, capital N, name, meaning Jesus, that they went out, receiving no help from the pagans. We ought, therefore, 
to show hospitality to such people so that we may work together for the truth. So uh, missionaries and, oh, we were just talking about uh, Pastor Nate and, and uh, leading our missionary work here at Grace Church. Well, missionaries and traveling teachers in John's day frequently stayed in the homes of fellow Christians. John encouraged Gaius to continue his hospitality to these travelers. By helping them, by Gaius helping them, he was actually participating in spreading the good news, uh, the good news, uh, the gospel, uh, the Bible. And by the way, that's what Pastor Nate does when he's helping with the missions and the missionaries. He is helping to spread the world, uh, the word, literally around the world. So now uh, draw this figure at the left. Draw this figure here and uh, with this balloon right out here. Draw this figure and uh, this balloon. And in uh, 3 John, uh, beginning at verse 9, John writes, I wrote to the church, but Diotrephes, Diotrephes is this guy right here, who loves to be first will not welcome us. Doesn't sound like Diotrephes is being a, is a good guy, does it? He loves to be first and will not welcome us. So when I come, I will call attention to what he is doing. He's spreading malicious nonsense about us. Not satisfied with that, he even refuses to welcome other believers. He also stops those who want to do so and puts them out of the church. Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God. Anyone who does what is evil has not seen God. So uh, John has written to the church concerning this man, Diotrephes. Now he cautions his friend Gaius, naming several of the man's negative uh, character traits. So write, I'm boss. Right there. there it is. Right, I'm boss. Um, Diotrephes, an arrogant, authoritative leader in the church, was taking over. He was trying to take over the church. And uh, he hadn't... Uh, he hadn't been elected or anything. Uh, he had just, he was basically just trying to take over. Now write, John's a jerk. See? So he's saying malicious gossip and things about John. Uh, he had no respect uh, for the, uh, the apostles. And he gossiped and said uh, untrue things about John. And then write the word, move on. Right there, you see the word, move, two words, move on, the phrase, move on. Diotrephes had the audacity to not only refuse accommodation to traveling missionaries, he would not even accept the Apostle John. This treatment of travelers called for discipline, and John promises, I will take care of this man when I come to your church. In the meantime, don't follow his example. So now draw this figure on the right. So John is telling Gaius, Diotrephes is not somebody you want. In fact, I'm going to take care of the situation when I got here. Now, draw this figure on the right, this man on the right, and write Demetrius. Let's see what John has to say about Demetrius. In, uh, in verse 12, 3 John 12, John writes, Demetrius is well spoken of by everyone and even by the truth itself. We also speak well of him, and you know that our testimony is true. So, um, as opposed to Diotrephes over here, John presents a, man, a choice man to Gaius, and this man's name is Demetrius. So John's recommendation is based on three points of testimony. Demetrius has a good report from all other men and women, and John knows these other men and women, and it's based on the truth, God's own standard, and from John himself. John knows him. So, uh, write prosperity, prosperity, good health, and from John. Write those three phrases right there. So, if Gaius followed the Bible scripture by the mouth of two or three witnesses, the matter shall be established. And that would, and um, uh, Gaius would have known uh, that because that was in Deuteronomy in the Old Testament. And Gaius would have known this. He would have read this. 
That's in Deuteronomy 19, verse 15. Then he must have been impressed with John's recommendation of Demetrius. Although tradition uh, doesn't absolutely verify the connection, uh, since John is writing this letter from Ephesus, it is possible that Demetrius is the silversmith who gave Paul much trouble in that city years before. And if so, Demetrius, uh, who was once an angry businessman, he saw too much of Christ in John and others to remain in unbelief, and he may have become a believer and a good friend of John. And this is more proof that with God, all things are possible. So imagine that, going from somebody who, you know, just violently didn't believe to an absolute believer and a leader in the church recommended by all. Praise God, because people can change their lives, and, and with God, all things are possible. Well, that's uh, that is the small book of 3 John. Uh, next time we're on to Revelation, and that would be the last book of the Bible. And this is a wonderful book about uh, how to, you know, we were talking about uh, showing love, and not just in words, but in deed also. And that's what Gaius and Demetrius have done. And they've shown uh, uh, their love and their hospitality toward other believers, other Christians and uh, everybody around them knows it. So they don't just talk about love, they act on it. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to just talk about it, but we, we want to live love and we want our actions to show love for one another. So again, that's the end of 3 John. And uh, so let's, uh, let's close in a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you uh, that you reveal yourself to us, your, your character and your nature to us through your word. Uh, we thank you for your son. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the apostles. We thank you for the apostle John um, who wrote these words down as you gave them through your Holy Spirit, these words to give to us so that we could be better examples, better Christian examples for you, Lord. Lord, we lift up all uh, who are in our draw-through class, and we ask that you be with them all throughout the week and uh, that um, they learn and they, and they uh, continue to learn your word, Lord. Lord, we lift up all those who are not feeling well. We ask that uh, you put your healing hand on them, Lord. We thank you for this time that we've had together. And in Jesus' name, all God's children say, Amen. Okay. That's 3rd John. We're on to Revelation, and we'll see you guys next time.